this is the first time I'm trying to grow potato in winter and I don't know you take a look at the growth of my potato to me it doesn't look too too happy but uh, I'm gonna give it a try I'll keep her there and see how far she'll keep growing and whether she's going to thrive and and as you can see my turmeric has gotten very tall that's the pot where I planted it and the turmeric is about I would say over a feet five feet tall now as you can see it's behind this fan here and my my backup my yam as usual are doing very well I had three big containers of yam and the third one right here is my purple yam which is ube the word ube in the Philippines means purple uh, the ube or purple word <laughs> refers to the color of the yam and pretty much you can tell the, tell the difference because as you can see right there uh, at the base of each uh, leaves and the leaves itself while they're young are somewhat purplish in color as you can see beautiful color and the base of that uh, the stem of that would be purple as well and if you look, let me go here, you look there, you can see that uh, the base of the vines are purple as well. Whereas when you look at the uh, other type of this yam, which they're both from uh, the Escoria Alata family. But this one, you would see that the base of the stem are green. Green stems, that's uh, the white or yellow yam. And purple stems from the ube or purple yam, which are both the Ascoria alata. And here is this is my joy right here which i'm very excited about <laughs> follow my finger as you can see right there that growth there that i believe is the aerial tuber and there are quite a few of, th of them and i noticed that some of the vines are also starting to form some growth right here I can't focus today very well and I could only I guess excuse that with the fact that it's very very humid here inside my greenhouse but as you can see there my yam the yams are doing very well and the turmeric this this is a yautia or taro which I planted and as you can see look at the size of the leaves <laughs> this is my hand trying to grab it so I could open it up for you and you could see it kind of resemble a elephant ears if you're familiar with that uh, plant elephant ear but the elephant ear is not a an edible type this is this is actually that type that in Hawaii they make poi out of this or you know in some areas in some countries they just boil it in which I would if I have the tubers now I would boil it in it's got a very nutty tasty tuber uh, this is also known as malanga in Puerto Rico and yautia I have two different type two varieties here I'm hoping to propagate them 